Hello, I'm Lucas Fobb, and I'll be showing you how to make a figure four deadfall. So, you need three main point, three main components to make a figure four deadfall. First thing, just a piece of stick, preferably straight and strong. So it doesn't need that long. Two feet is fine. Um, I've got a piece of um, Saskatoon. So this works well. It's a strong piece of wood that I have around here. You can research your in your local area for strong woods. So this is a good one for me. The next, you'll need a fairly big kind of plate-like rock. So I've got mine right here. You can see how it's pretty even on the how thick it is, pretty much all the way through. Um, it should be as flat as possible with no like rough edges so you get as like maximum surface area hitting the ground when it goes off so your animal or whatever you're catching can't run away and thirdly a knife or a saw you can also use rock knives that you've made flint works well for making rock knives but I'm not going to show that here so I'm going to use my knife so first thing I want to take your piece of stick and I'm using Saskatoon but I ha can have two purposes with this I can use it for my deadfall and if it's dead and dry peel off the bark and you've got some excellent tinder if you've got some char cloth you can light a fire just amazingly just really quickly so I'll show you how to make some char cloth in a different video but here, that's not what I'm doing. So first piece you'll need in your figure four deadfall is your main kind of stick to hold up the rock. You don't want a flimsy piece because or else I'll just snap and your rock will fall down. So you want a fairly thick and straight piece. Approximately what I use is just my hand, lay it on, and I've made two little marks with my knife. So I'm just gonna try to break them off at the spot that I've kind of cut out, cut it out a little bit more so it breaks at the right spot. There's one. Try to make sure not to hurt yourself. I could make this situation worse. Perfect. Okay, so my first piece. Saskatoon is very kind of stringy so it's going to be kind of hard to shape but I'm gonna do my best. So, the first, this big kind of base one, I'll call it just the main stick, is you wanna have one end, doesn't really matter, this will be the end going into the ground, or for this, I'm just going on a piece of wood. I'll just do this to show you kind of what's happening so you can see it all. It works in the grass, it works anywhere, but you wanna to try to have a firm ground so it doesn't sink away into the ground. So one end, just want to be fairly flat. There, that's fine. And then the next bit, I want to have it pointed. Not really pointed, but I'll come up and show you. This is my first piece. I'm going to do some more cutting to it, but see that one end is just nice and flat, just so it can sit on the ground without sinking away. Next end, just kind of pointed like that. Not much, just so your next piece can go on top like that. We're also going to be cutting a notch down here for your trigger stick to sit in, but that's later, so I'll go on to the next stick. Next one, you want approximately the same length as your first one. So I'm just going to make a mark. Breaks where you want it to. So this next piece, what we're gonna do, from one end, you're gonna have about the length of, um, about an inch, I would say, from the end. You're gonna pick one side, and you're gonna go and make like a V indent into it. So, this is where the top of your first main stick is gonna sit in, okay? So I've got that done come up and show you when I'm done the whole stick later. So that's the first step. You're gonna 
I guess you can, you should flatten off the top of that. You can just sand it like on a rock, just like the bottom of your main stick. So I just kind of sanded that down. This is going to be the end that's underneath your rock, where your rock is pushing down onto. Okay, so next thing you want to do, on the opposite end from the top, made my notch here, about one inch away from the top. Here's my flattened off, flattened off top. The bottom end, I'm going to make another somewhat pointed end, like I made on the main stick, except just on the bottom of here. So I'll do that. Okay. So I'm just going to sand that off a bit to make it somewhat straight because it is very stringy. I want it to all be kind of somewhat even. And like I said, it doesn't need to be exact, it just needs to be able to hook into another notch you're going to be making on your next one. So I'll come up and show you. This is going to be your next piece. So as you can see, the top end I just flattened off. My notch underneath there, you can see that. Just like a V indented in the top. And my bottom, just another, just a little kind of flat. I know it's not perfectly straight, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be hooking on to that point then. But nice and flat, so it can fit into the next notch. This, by the way, is called your trigger stick. So... The last but not least is called your bait stick. So this one, I would say you want about twice the length of your other ones. So this one is pretty much perfect. It can be shorter, it can be longer, doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to take off these little I know, sticks sticking out. Okay, so that's pretty good. On one end, you want like the skinnier end preferably. You want to have somewhat of either like a little flat kind of platform on it or a point. This is where you're going to be putting your bait on. But the bait, when you put it on, you really want to kind of smear it in. So whatever you're trying to catch it, you're trying to catch is going to want to chew at the stick to hopefully get the bait. So you can just stick it on, but that won't really do nearly as much. I just want to loosen up some of the fibers in the stick so I can use them as spears themselves to put the bait. So once I've got that, kind of shaved off the bark and stuff, then what I want to do is to make at the end another kind of notch, but you want it to be a V facing that way. So you don't want it to be like this in the wood near the back. And you want it to be facing, if your stick is going to sit like this, you want it to be facing directly upwards. So, just in front of a knot works well because knots make great little notches themselves. Because they're not going to break off. Okay, so then you just want to, you have your little notch, you just want to get it with your one stick just to test to make sure that it can fit in there. And it's not just going to go fly up. So mine fits pretty well. The next step is crucial. This one is the one you've got to have pretty much perfect. Well, not really perfect, but you've got to have it pretty close. So, got my one, sit like this. Next one, sit on top in its groove, so it can tilt like so. Then I've got my notch on my one stick, if you can see, and then point on the other. That's just going to fit in like that to make somewhat like a four. So then, what you're gonna wanna do is on your one stick, on the main stick I've got here, is I'm gonna wanna carve away where this stick comes across. So right like there, I'm gonna wanna carve it to flat and then a 90 degree angle off of it. So make it pretty much square. And then with this one, I've, I'm going to have it like so, like that. It's kind of hard to see, but just like that. And then on this one, I'm going to carve an indent with a 90 degree just going straight into the wood. 
and then a flat so that it can sit on the little 90 degree I've made in here and that will just be sitting on there just very ever so slightly so when an animal comes along triggers it bam and the animal is trapped so I'll go do that and I'll show you okay perfect okay so I'll show you I've got this one it's set like this but now as you can see I just made like a notch so it's almost like a square but it'll be sitting like this and then my other stick as you can see here just have like a little dip a little hook so when this is sitting beside here the 90 degree angle here will hook right in here stopping it from going but it's only on a little ledge once that gets knocked off that's your trigger right there so I'll show you how to set this up this on top hook the back into your little notch then you hook up your little groove let's do this on my knee and then your rock oh, your rock will be sitting up here causing that to go like that so you want to rub the bait onto your end make sure to do that before setting it up because once you've got it up and if you forgot to put on the bait that can be very annoying so I'll set it up right now Don't be annoyed if it doesn't work the first time. It can be very annoying, but if you keep going and you get it, then that can mean that you have a very per like very precise hairpin trigger. So the easier it is, or harder it is to put up, the more likely you have a hairpin trigger. So let's say I put the bait on it already. One way I like doing it is putting putting my foot underneath so I have two free hands, putting the trigger stick on the main stick, and then letting the rock down on that. So then I've got the rock being held up with just one hand, you see? And then my last piece to go in, I'll just hook it my hook push down in and there you have it there's your deadfall now you see the bait stick here doesn't need to be really long but then the further they mine's a little long for the rock but the further they are underneath then the further they'll have to run to get out when it's falling but they won't have much time anyway so it's just all the weight is being pushed down onto the trigger stick here which is being hinged on the main stick so this trigger stick wants to flick up like that but this bait stick here is holding it so the bait stick here is wanting to be pulled back on the little notch you made but the other little one on the main the 90 degree you made just hooked on the little edge is causing it not to come off but a little nibble on that and the whole thing goes off so I'll just not with my knife I'll go get another stick and poke it okay also this is I just realized a little tall you can I guess I could turn the rock to make it longer but it doesn't really matter it's fine it doesn't there's not like a way it has to be as long as you can get it up like this, it'll be fine. So, here comes a little animal. Dead. Thanks for watching. See you next time.